Bob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at bridging. We're going to add a little component to bridging, which will eventually is going to start to activate the patient's glutes a little bit more. So typical bridging, Tyler, you're going to push your tush towards the ceiling. Your knees go forward. You want to activate the inferior glutes. Come back down. You see his feet tend to go into more of the pronation. So I'll have him do it as he goes up. I want you to go, go into the outsides of your ankles. And then as he bridges up, so he's, he's in an inverted position, push up. This time also push down your great toe on both sides. And you'll see as you do that, he'll feel more in his glute. The reason that happens, by pushing the great toe down, number of flexor house as long as it comes across, there's underneath the sesamfactum talli, which holds up, you can put down, which holds up the medial side of the calcaneus. And if you push the toe down, it'll, it'll stabilize the subtalar joint as you push down. It'll activate more into, into supination, which will eventually, the body will supinate throughout the whole kinetic chain, and you get more glute activation. So the way you do it again, regular bridging, they do well with that. Tyler bridge up. Have them go into the outside of their feet, a little bit of supination. Same time, push your big toe down, right here too, hold it down, hold it, hold it. Okay. And you'll feel a lot in your glutes, and come back down. So you can go with your finger, you can kind of have them, remind them where to push down to get that flexor hallux as long as to activate. It's a really nice way to activate the lower quarter, especially the glutes for supination and external rotation. Rob Shapiro from Technique.